Hi guys, Showmaker here playing StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void, and this is Unsealing the Past. I will be doing it on Brutal, and both of these achievements um, are possible. This one is very difficult, very, very difficult. So Unsealing Past missions less less than 40 seconds, you know, all the caves, very, very hard. Um, so for this, I will be using the Charged Centurions, our Blink Stalkers again. I may build one of these guys, a Splash Immortal, and uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I think that's all I'm going to use for this. And for Spear of the Doom, um, Executor, but not, um, we're going to have um, Solar Bombardment, which is pretty darn close to necessary. We're going to have Matrix Overload. So all friendly units gain a 25% bonus to movement speed and 15% bonus to attack speed while positioned within a pylon's power field. Um, mm -hmm. Next is Overcharge. No, wait, no. Orbital Simulator, sorry. Temporal Field. And Warp and Reinforcements. Mm -hmm. Kind of think if I should change this or not, but I think I'll stick with this. This is a good uh, mix up here. And I'll be introduced with the Colossus this time. Yay, Colossus. <coughs> so this is the Purifier mission. And if you remember from the original uh, campaign, there was a sub-campaign for the Protoss. And that one was supposed to hold you over until this expansion because they knew that it would be like five or six years before you get a Protoss expansion, like Protoss campaign. And um, in it, you go to uh, the world of Purifiers. And then you find the Colossus who had been holding guard, you know, purifier technology. Also the Sentry was also purifier technology. I think it was. I'm pretty sure the Sentry was. Yes, it most definitely was. And anyway, so that's uh, leading us here into the purifier world where we have to calibrate some sort of locks on the purifiers so we can get the purifiers out of there. Because they are a giant weapon that can be used to eradicate everything. Everything. And they also have this kind of weird thing where they are personalities of all the greatest heroes of Protoss, and uh, they've been sealed in in uh, these kind of shells. And so Phoenix is actually here with us, uh, Phoenix from StarCraft One, who died in the first mission or second mission, then he comes back as a dragoon, and then he dies again. So he gets to die a third time, perhaps in the future, maybe. Let's get the show on the road. We have a three colossi. And the colossi micro is very easy. You hit the A button and you click. <laughs> it's called the A move. It's very simple. I don't like these. They don't count towards the objective, but I don't like them. Here's our first rock. The Zerg are coming from that cave. If we fire on the rock formation, it will seal the opening. There we go. Here is the speed boost they might have. There we go. And you can see that they can actually attack me because uh, something here gives them vision. I'm not sure what. But I don't like these. I hate those guys. Ugh, Amon. Amon's evil. Moving forward, this is going to be our, our command base. And there's only a limited number that come from this uh, building, so I mean, and they're attacking me in some magical way. And last guy. Easy, easy, lemon squeezy. All right, let's put down our base right here. Yes. Well done. Yes. Okay, so the megalith systems will take a few moments to activate. It will be ready to move out soon. You win this by staying ahead of the game. In the meantime. I've upgraded our robotics facilities to construct Colossi. You can warp them in whenever you wish, Hierarch. Warp them in? I guess technically that's what's happening. The shadowed path. Burn. Burn. We step. 
so your shields get low and then you run back. First zone cleared out, and look, we have some surprises here. We have some free minerals, some free Vespain. Now, one neat trick you can do is build some pylons behind your mineral line, and that will actually increase the speed that your workers um, the mega should be finishing up shortly. We should ensure that we have enough forces to defend it. All right, and I've already done that part where the megalith comes through. He's supposed to just come through and, and the megalith is actually a colossus as well. He does the colossus themes, he can see up, all that sort of good jazz. Well. Let's see if I can just crawl up here. I don't think I can, no. Oh boy. I serve. What the hell is that noise? The Megalith is Unless they got an update. We must ensure something. it reaches the stasis locks safely. Gotta keep up my pro production. But yeah, these uh, actually increase the speed that you, your units lose. Um, you know, not crazily useful in this particular mission. I don't want to lose any of these zealous. I just kind of need them to soak damage while uh, my clocks do a lot of damage. Soakers. And possibly one Vanguard as well. I am the voice of the Eclipse. work in my reinforcements. I... The Megalith has reached the first stasis lock. It will be safe below the surface as it does its work. This gives us a little bit of time to uh, parlay with the enemy. Thank you. Oh, I can't block him. My skills. So they're all moving slightly faster, producing more minerals. I'm here in the shadows. And I'm just gonna put a thing over here. State thou bidding. So that's another one secured. The voice of the eclipse. State. You're gonna grab as well. Ooh, my vanguard. You require my skip. I am detecting Zerg movement. Warriors, ensure none reach our nexus point. There's the Zerg movement. The megalith is almost done with this lock. I would advise you to make preparations for its next move. Now you need a forge. And we'll be focusing on damage with that forge. You require my skills. Okay, so one of the secondary objectives is to destroy all Zerg structures. And there's actually a Zerg structure over here that has to be destroyed. So, here we go. Oh, zealots. More life. There we go. That's pretty well cleared up. Sensors show the first stasis lock has been disabled. 
The megalith is relocating to the next one. You start getting more gateways down. Now it's no, don't die. Put a second proxy over here. Proxy pylons. And get a Colossus out. Wait, I need my upgrades first. Let our enemy know our fury. Upgrades are important! And make two cannons here and we're gonna make a, um, a war battery the megalith has arrived safely at the second stasis lock it shall be brought down shortly This facility used power cores of incredible size to provide energy for experiments. That is interesting. They should be hidden somewhere within these hills. If our warriors can destroy them, we can claim the solarite components within. Yes, the drones do count towards the killing all Zerg. I don't think overlords do, though. But it's not particularly worth the risk, now is it? Now... To get up my stalkers. So I'm going to clear this entire area first, and then I'm going to go back for this objective. In terms of the time management, it just makes a lot of sense. The megalith's work is nearly complete. It will move again soon. The canyon grows narrow ahead. Crawlers, they're rooting on the ridge. Brace for incoming fire. Mm -hmm. See, this is where the uh, single mortal comes in handy. He can nuke down these, these uh, roses here. Oh god, not, no, stalker! Oh. Well, while we're at it, let's get a forward pylon, get more forces out. I am the voice of the fight here. Oh good, I have it on that. I'm only getting attack upgrades. I'm not getting anything else but attack upgrades. Stasis lock disabled, and the grid is now at 60%. The megalith is en route to the third lock now. Okay, I can probably get another Colossus up. Oh, okay, get the upgrade. And then another Colossus out. Yeah, I'd like to see the more weakened guys back. The nice thing with this particular immortal is that he, uh, has the ability to uh, uh, splash damage, so he does good against armor, but also not doing too bad against a lot of these other light units. Let our enemy know our fury. Some more stalkers out. Stalkers are king. I need some zealots. Oh boy.
think I'll get more results in time for this final little push. Now I can use this ability here, go on the environment, and I will. It's got 300 seconds of cooldown though. I just need to have it up for the end of the next uh, wave. I can't actually start the next wave really until, uh, or I can, but I have to do it very slowly. Because I don't want to open up access to too many of these uh, mines. God, the area that that hits is so crazy. Okay, so we got them to locations. Now we gotta go for this over here. And there are some, uh, some other structures there as well to destroy. Every cannon gets its own cheese well charge station. Well done, warriors. The Megalith is disabling the third lock. Here's our power core we have to destroy as well. Um, looks like we're doing good. Now this can be handled the just first by power Colossus. core has been secured. Just we'll bring it aboard now. Just me, Lings. We are the thy cold is the void. And we'll need to collect all the resources. We move unseen. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Ooh, I should some damage on the sock for this Colossi. I am here in the shadows. State thy bidding. That was a bad blink. This lock is almost destabilized. The megalith will relocate shortly. Right. Now this particular part has to be slowed down as much as possible. Because uh, the enemy is going to have, I'm going to need a lot of horses to kind of just pile my way through this. I am here in the shadows. Now, can I have both? Is the question. Can I get 75 and 50? It's 125, so I can get both. I can have a proxy four pylon. I am the voice. More forces. State. We are one. Okay. So once again, there's another power core here. We can come back for that after. We don't have to do that right away. Um, there will be a, you know, slowdown. So there's going to be caves in this particular rush that we have to deal with quickly, which is why we need those stalkers. The third lock has been disabled, and the megalith is on the move. My readout shows Cybros beginning to Seriously. awaken from stasis. Only two remain, Hierarch. There's a cave over here, too. Can't get rid of those in 40 seconds. Detecting a large number of Zerg bioforms in the cave network ahead. Get some more zealots. We can use the terrain to our advantage. Topple the rock formations near the entrance and seal the Zerg within the caves. There they are, sealed within. Okay, so we have one over here, one over there. So what we're gonna do is this. I said a network of um, these things at various pathing points. So here and one here. And that will slow them down very heavily. A significant number of Zerg have been detected in the caves ahead. Exercise caution. I only got 40 seconds, so I gotta go get my stalkers in here to do this. Okay, so that's 
one down. Intriguing. The other one's right here. And I will blink if I have to. Blink, give me an extra shield, and good positioning overall. More force though, because getting that is quite taxing actually. You actually do need some stalkers to be able to wipe out the air units after all. Oh boy, bring these guys up. Hey, this Colossi has two low one health. This one. So we got our stalkers coming up to help knife out this guardian. These guardians. Should have another warp in coming. Yes. Excellent. Lost over here, wasn't even using. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Yeah. Another plus one weapons. Trying to kill off all these overseers. I don't know if they count or not, but I feel like they probably will. End up counting. And another proxy forward again. Okay. So one more overseer. Uh, uh, sorry, Overlord, and then we go up this power core. Stay Phase link authorized. The Megalith is now disabling the fourth lock. Okay. I got another Colossus. I'm going to build two I'm just in the case. Shadows. And our money's not doing too badly, not too good. Our supply is dipped quite a bit. I'm down to 92 out of 161, which is not a good number to have. We are one with the shadows. State thy bid. You require my. So I think the link stalkers they can come up here with your colossus and help get this faster, as well as not get the overseers. I don't know if it counts. I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So that's why you have the cannons. have been obtained. I'll begin working on them immediately. Um, feels like a lot. I'm gonna put some stalkers here just in case. She looks like they'll actually all be able to hold. Makes me feel like I'm not on brutal at all, which I am by the way. I am on brutal. But uh, it doesn't feel like it. But... My experience has been very different from the game. I uh, serve. Lock destabilization is nearly finished. The megalith will disembark soon. Mm, megalith disembarking very soon. So there's two entry routes into the next territory. Worth mentioning. Um, I'm going to have my sword bombardment available for doing a lot of damage. I'm also going to have temporal field available for blocking reinforcements. Which is basically what I use it for. Is there is a second base down here which I never actually use, and I think I feel like it's a trick base, like it's just there to trick you. Because it's never actually worthwhile. So I should have plus three weapons showing up around the same time as this push. I don't think I'll get any armor upgrades available. Okay, so he's up and running. Let's get this show on the road. I am the heart of darkness. We are one with the shadows. There is an entire Zerg hive cluster between the Megalith and the last stasis lock. Our only option is to fight through it. Or bombard through it. None of your infested Terrans can help you now. My A move is so strong. The lock is down and the Megalith is traveling. Stasis grid at 20%. Wait. 
I'm detecting activity in the Zerg hive nearby. They're reinforcing the last lock. Lost this battle. That'll be my last losses. I'm doing another more time. And let's get a Pyroxy Pylon. Remember, that also speeds up my units, makes them faster. So anything passing through there, boom, they get a speed boost. Seismic disturbance detected. Nidus worms are inbound on your location. Couldn't blink because uh, these got you. I don't think they matter, but I can't risk it. Actually, I have room for the temporal field yet. Okay, so temporal field this guy, this guy, and uh, this guy. Any units in those, in those areas will not be able to move. Single Zergling? Hey, you gotta be too. in the campaign for whatever reason are exceptionally powerful and I don't know why. So make some last of the stalkers just in case. Free shield by blinking and that should do it. That should be all the uh, Zerg in this mission defeated. Ah, these guys. I swear to God, if I lose by overseers, I'll be so mad. We are one. Let's, see, let's see those two over, over the words actually count. Let's see. No, they don't count. Of course, my panicking was over nothing. The overlords don't count, people. But yes, able to get all these achievements done. Uh, this one, like I said, it's a very challenging one. It's barely worth doing in Brutal, to be honest. Um, you can do it in casual. The lowest, the lowest. But it is doable. It's just you lose a lot of your army, and you have to rebuild that army. Uh, so yeah, that's on Sealing the Past Brutal. My name is Troublemaker. Thank you guys for watching.